The novel covers a period of three weeks. It's contained within that three week period. There are two characters, Helen, the narrator, and Nicola, her friend who lives in Sydney. And what happens, the gist of the story, is that Nicola has got terminal cancer and she asks Helen if she can come and stay at her house in Melbourne for three weeks while she undergoes a, uh, a three-week course of alternative treatments. She's already had everything that Western medicine can provide and it hasn't healed the cancer. Now Helen has a fantasy of herself as a rather Florence Nightingale figure. Uh, she imagines herself calmly and sweetly nursing her old friend and caring for her while she undergoes these treatments. But what actually happens during those three weeks is very different from what Helen uh, expected. She, in fact, the friendship goes into a phase of really where it becomes a power struggle. And to me, these are the most interesting aspects of the book, the, the, the way that friendship transforms under the pressure of the approach of death. The treatments that Nicola undergoes at the Theodore Clinic are both terrible and ridiculous. But um, the book makes it clear, I think, that I'm not against alternative treatments as such. What I do try to examine in the book is how desperately trusting dying people can be and how shamefully they can be taken advantage of and swindled as Nicola is by the Theodore Clinic in this story. I also wanted the book to be a tribute to friendship. Friendship's the sort of love that doesn't really often inspire great drama, but, but it's there when the chips are down. And in the mess and the panic of dying, friends can still argue with each other and make each other cry and sometimes burst into fits of crazy laughter. That's the most important thing I wanted the book to say. So I hope you'll find the story takes you somewhere worthwhile and I hope you'll enjoy the ride.